This is ANN News Brief. Good morning, I'm Lucy Adeyemi. Schools in Senegal have reopened after months of closure. Students return to schools on Thursday. Four million students from primary to secondary school are expected to return to classes, but a number of them are reported to have delayed their return. Schools were closed in March after the first case of COVID-19 in the country. Only 500,000 students in examination classes had returned to school by June. Since then, the pandemic appears to have been contained at low levels. Senegal reported 15,744 cases and 326 deaths. Economic activities have been severely affected and is slowly resuming its course. But there is also a slackening of daily vigilance. UNICEF said in early October that only one country in three from West and Central Africa has managed to reopen its schools for the start of the school year 2020-2021 on schedule. Ministry of Education spokesman Mohamed Mustafa Diagan said a health protocol will, with the Ministry of Health have been defined for the compulsory wearing of masks except in preschool, hand washing and physical distancing. South Africa has uh, opened its borders to international travel following a more than seven-month closure of port of entry to non-essential travel to prevent the spread of coronavirus. President Ramaphosa, in a speech on Wednesday, extended the national state of disaster until December, but said the ban on international flight is being lifted to allow businesses in the tourism and hospitality sector benefit he said visitors would be required to follow relevant health protocols. Ramaphosa also said opening up international travel to all countries is subject to the necessary health protocols and the presentation of a negative COVID-19 certificate. He said the country intend to limit the spread of the infection through importation, but now using rapid tests and strict monitoring. South Africa is one of the hardest hit countries in Africa with 745,000 COVID-19 infections. The country has recorded coronavirus-related deaths totaling 20,076. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the fact behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network, ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Condolences are pouring in for late Ghanaian President Jerry Rawlings, whom the African Union Commission Chairman Musafake Mohammed described as charismatic continental statesman. Muhammad paid tribute to former leader Jerry Rollins, saying that Africa has lost its stalwart of Pan-Africanism. The former president died at a state hospital in the capital, Accra, at the age of 73. Many leaders across Africa have expressed their condolences to his family, the people, and the government of Ghana. Nigerian President Muhammad Buhari wrote a glowing tribute to the man he called the great leader. President Buhari said the entire African continent will miss Rollins' sterling qualities. Buhari also hoped that Rollins' ideas for development in Africa will always be remembered. Meanwhile, Rollins' family has requested for privacy in a short statement issued following his death on Thursday morning after a short illness. His uh, eldest daughter, Rollins, said uh, details of funeral arrangement will be announced in due course. Ghana's president, Nana Akufoado, has declared seven days of mourning. Akufoado said he had suspended campaigning for next month's election and flags would fly at half mast. The seven days of mourning will start today, Friday. 
That is ANN News Brief at 10. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I am Lucy Ademi.